Hi, and welcome to another VS2 tutorial. I'm Nuno Zavatar, and today I'll guide you through some of the exciting new materials introduced in VS2, the visualizers and the oscilloscope. These two materials allow you to create special audio responsive visuals that blend beautifully with shaders and images. Let's get started. In VS2, we've introduced a material that functions as an oscilloscope. Inspired by the electronic test instrument that graphically displays changing voltages over time, forming waveforms. Depending on the sound input, it can produce mesmerizing visuals, all sharing that distinctive oscilloscope look. Let's see it in action. To load an oscilloscope, double click the layer thumbnail and under the visualizers category, select the oscilloscope material. At first, you won't see anything. That's because this material needs an audio source to work. Open the audio player panel and click on the folder icon. Choose Breakbeat 2 demo file and press play. You should now see the oscilloscope responding to the sound. If nothing appears, check the audio section in the layer input properties and ensure the source is set to player. This setting determines which audio source is processed by the material. You can also adjust the input gain, while the buffer size and spectrum speed parameters are used for other visualizers. Now, let's explore the oscilloscope's parameters. You can scale, rotate, change its X and Y position, increase the trail effect, and modify the color glow. With different audio inputs, you can achieve truly unique visuals. Let's try another audio file. This is a simple example made with two basic waveforms, one in each channel with slight differences between them. This also opens the door to the fascinating world of oscilloscope music, a realm where you can draw everything from simple geometric shapes to intricate 3D animations, all through sound on an oscilloscope. Using the software Ossi Studio by Hansi Raber, this becomes possible. I'll now show you an example of the incredible work of Jerobin Fenderson created with Ossi Studio. VS2 introduces spectrum and waveform shaders to create informative and appealing representations of your audio. These generate display spectrum, or amplitude variations of a given audio signal, perfect for creating music visualizers to share on your favorite video platforms. To load a visualizer, double-click a layer thumbnail and open the shader category under the visualizer section. You'll find several waveform and spectrum types to choose from. Let's start with bar spectrum tree. We can also load the waveform material, double-click another layer thumbnail and choose scattered waveform. As before, both materials need audio input to function. Load the breakbeat 2 demo file again and press play. Don't forget to verify that your audio source is set to player in the audio properties. Since we're using both a spectrum and a waveform, we can now adjust two additional parameters in the audio properties panel. The buffer size changes the size of the displayed buffer, letting you see more or less of the audio waveform. Spectrum speed sets the decay rate of the spectrum, making it smoother or faster. Each material has its own parameters, so feel free to experiment and customize to your liking.
We've now covered both the oscilloscope and visualizer materials. As you've seen, depending on the audio, the oscilloscope can generate fascinating forms, and some artists even compose music specifically for this type of visual medium. Now let's create a simple example using visualizers. Start by creating a new patch by clicking the plus icon on the top bar. Then double-click the first layer thumbnail, open the shaders category under visualizers, and choose circular bars spectrum. Load the Breakbeat 2 demo file again and hit play. Now, move the material slightly to the left, increase its radius, increase count and reduce the spacing parameter. Let's add a few extra layers. Copy this layer to layer 2, increase its height and slightly lower the color brightness. Copy layer 2 and paste it in layer 3 increase its height further and reduce the brightness a bit more. With these three layers, you now have a beautiful three-layered spectrum. Next, let's add an image to complement the visualizer. Double-click layer 4, select the image slash video category, open the factory bank pictures folder and load CopDJ1. Center the image with the visualizers. You'll notice parts of the image extend beyond the circular area. Let's mask it with a shader. Double-click layer 5, select the factory category under shaders and load Eternal Gold. Drag this layer to the left of the image layer and center it over the image. Now, in the Color Properties panel, change the Blend Mode to Multiply and set the color to white. This creates a nice organic mask effect over the image. To finish, let's add some color pulses. Load the render output material into layer 6 and drag it to the first position. Reduce the alpha slider and change the blend mode to soft add. And there you have it, a vibrant layered visualizer with style. Now you know how to integrate the oscilloscope and visualizer materials into your VS compositions. Combine and experiment with different elements to create unique audio reactive visuals that bring your music to life. As always, I'm Nuno Zavatar, helping out with these tutorials while he keeps busy coding. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.